You guys want to talk a little bit about your commitment process? Like, you know, obviously you committed to Georgetown, right? Committed to Harvard. You guys want to walk us through, like, kind of what uh, led to your decisions in committing? Yeah. I really had four schools I was looking at. And then Harvard, Rice, Rhode Island, Schlitter Gulf Coast. I wanted to visit all four schools. Two of them had canceled on me because they had got some commits for Rhode Island. Florida Gulf Coast had got some commits. Mm-hmm. Um, so I visited Harvard and um, then I visited Rice. I kind of just took what I felt from the coaches, like the relationship I had with Coach Hamilton was second to none. Yeah. So um, I trusted what he told me and I kind of believed it. I believed in his vision. I ain't going to say kind of. I definitely believed in his vision. Mm-hmm. Ended up choosing Harvard. You know, it was a tough decision. You know, a lot of different um, things come with going to Ivy League. Yeah. 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 You know, I just trusted Coach Amrica that much. So I was like, I'm good heart. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'd say for me, um, my recruitment sort of like surprised me. Like, I know it was good, but after like that 16 years when I really started to get a lot of my offers, mm-hmm. um, and it was just all coming so fast. So I was, you know, wanting to visit here, wanting to visit there. Um, but I say when it came down to choosing Georgetown, it really was like Malik said, it was Coach Cool dude. Mm-hmm. Uh, a new coaching staff. It was just a new energy about the program that made me excited. Yeah. Um, when it, it, it made me want to stay home. I, I wasn't thinking about staying home, to be honest, before he got there. Really? Um, I took my visit and I took an unofficial to Georgetown uh, and they just showed my love. They, it was right away. As soon as they got the job, they reached out, showed my love for home. And I took an official. Um, and I had planned to, I think I had plans to go to like Miami in two weeks, like on that official out site. I was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to go to Miami. Like, oh, weather. <laughs> I'm worried. So, but I, I ended up committing on my visit. And George Sound. Because Coach Coley just, that trust you had with him, I feel like I wasn't going to get that trust with a head coach at any other school. Um, okay. So I say it, it definitely was him that just made me able to just be a part of the process and the trust I had in his vision. Right. What the other, like, if you had a top three, like, when you were deciding, like, who was P.S. who was, who was like, um, I'd say my top three, if it wasn't Georgetown, the other two would probably be, I need three. It would be between Michigan, Villanova, or Syracuse. Syracuse, I didn't get to visit, um, because I committed earlier, but, yeah. um, with Coach Autry, they, uh, hired, uh, Coach Brenda. Yeah. Um, from takeover to takeover guys, it, just, it made me mm-hmm. interested about it. And then my teammate, uh, AAU Donnie, going down there and Donnie would have been quarter player. Yeah. They got Chopper too. Yeah. This is tough. hops and him. This is Let's talk about Coach, Coach Woolley a little bit because you talked about the new energy you brought in. So I just want to know what does that mean to the team? Man, it, means, it means a lot to the team. You definitely feel. I went to a lot of practice last year too. Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, just the energy he brought in, it's definitely transitioned that over this year, um, especially with the couple of returns they do have, yeah. or we do have. Um, uh, the energy, I mean, to me, it's been great. Uh, and it's definitely a different vibe than it was at the practice last year, I will say that. Um, but I feel like everybody is just so bought in, uh, wanting to, you know, do the same things that Coach Cooley wants to do. So the energy is there. It's important. 